Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on Space Cut today I'm going to be reviewing this, Dream London by Tony Ballantyne, for one of the best books I've read recently. What this is about is basically London is being infiltrated by the Fae. So the entire city is essentially now cut off from the rest of the planet and it's like stuck in this dream dimension as it were, Dream London. And it focuses around a guy called Captain Jim Wedderburn, army guy, he's stuck in London. Um, once you're in Dream London, um, you know the Fae and they do like uh, their narratives and their destinies to be fulfilled. Everyone starts conforming to stereotypes and it's basically kind of resetting to like the Victorian Dickensian kind of era, you know, uh, social Darwinism gone wild. So other creatures are kind of coming into London now, Dream London, from other, <laughs> I guess, parallel dimensions and everything. And he meets up with this really earnest, uh, sweet young um, orange frog guy, I guess, called Mr. Monaghan. And he, they become good friends and allies in their fight to uh, discover what has happened to London. Why is it being invaded? Um, think of that old film Dark City. You know how uh, buildings could change, expand or contract, the tube lines they were like a dropped spaghetti on the floor and you couldn't get out. It's very much like that, you know. Um, roads don't go where they used to. Uh, you can only really use the tube if you're asleep. So you get on um, you have a bias saying, wake me up at X, and that's the only way you can get there. Otherwise, you will never get to your destination. You will always just miss the train, or it will go straight through your station without stopping. So, yes, indeed. He also um, has another ally, um, an American woman, a uh, madam brothel owner. Um, but <laughs> that's not what she actually is. She's actually a top CIA agent who was sent into Dream London to infiltrate it to try and figure out how to stop it and what is going on because basically NATO is going to nuke the city to try and destroy this threat. And they do. Doesn't do any good. The nuclear bombs, they go off and it's just literally a shower of flower petals is what reaches the city. Indeed, magic versus technology, magic always wins because it doesn't have to obey the laws of physics. <laughs> so anyway, as I said, London is changing. So the towers of like the city in Canary Wharf, they're now hundreds and hundreds of stories high. They just keep going up and up and up. I think, uh, I don't know if it's uh, the NatWest building or the Gherkin, it's like 872 stories or something nuts like that. So they have to infiltrate that building to try and seize control of their own destinies because everyone's destinies are being written in this building. It's fantastic. So of course it doesn't go to plan. <laughs> I won't spoil too much but it's absolutely fantastic read. Captain Jim Wedderburn, great character, fantastic settings, really believable. That London that's slowly morphing into a different version of itself and all the people who are stuck there and it's like one day you're up, the next day you're down, the day after that you're dead. You know, it's like people's fortunes change that quickly just because the whim of some uh, fae, you know, to just change your contract and have something else happen to you. It's fantastic. Great innovative uh, uh, story. Uh, I read this a while ago, to be fair. The reason I'm reviewing it now is because I'm reading the sequel, Dream Paris, and it is absolutely fantastic, just like this one is. And I will be reviewing that one in due course. Anyway, guys, that was just my quick review of Dream London by Tony Ballantyne, an excellent book which I thoroughly recommend. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.